President Biden's approval rating feeling the impact of those election losses last week in Virginia and almost in New Jersey, hitting just 38 percent, only 38 percent of the country approves as his party focuses on pushing ahead with his spending agenda. It comes as Democrats outside of D.C. feel pressure, warning the growing red wave is real. Fox News contributor and former House Speaker Newt Gingrich is the author of the new book, Beyond Biden, Rebuilding the America We Love, and he joins us now. Good morning to you, Newt. Good morning. Good morning. There's an article in the New York That's Times it. that says, uh, we promised to change the rancor and division. This is a top Democrat saying that. So we offered something else, division and rancor. Ooh. Remember when Biden was running, he promised to unite us. What do you, what do you make of these polls <clears throat> now? Well, look, I, there's so many things going wrong from failing to control the border to announcing last week that he is willing to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to illegal immigrants. Uh, but which most Americans think is insane, to taking 85 cars to a global summit on, on climate where he then promptly falls asleep in public. I mean, there, there's just lots of different things going wrong, the biggest of which, I think, is the price increases. And <clears throat> I don't care what they say and do in, the, in Washington, you know, when people go out and they fill up their car, uh, and it costs 75, 80, 85 dollars in California, over 100 dollars, uh, they know something's not working. And I think the greatest problem Biden has isn't ideology, it's the sense that it ain't working. And if that sinks in, uh, then you're going to hear, hear a lot more than, than chance. Uh, you're going to hear a lot of people just say flatly, I'm going to vote Democrat to send them a signal. Yeah, and, and he, Newt, he can't even get stuff through Congress with unified control of Congress by the Democrats. He can't even get his own party to agree on stuff. And it looks like Build Back Better is going to come back maybe in a couple of weeks if they can get enough people on board. But what's interesting about the president, you know, people have suggested, you know, he's only going to be a one-termer, he's going to get out of the way for Kamala Harris. Joe Biden's approval rating is at 38 percent, but Kamala Harris's approval rating is 28 percent. Well, look, I mean, without being too unkind, she's an absurdity. Uh, you ask her a question, she giggles. Uh, she, she goes to make a tape in favor of children in space. They hire child actors. And frankly, if you watch the video, she's not convincing and neither are the child actors. Uh, she's in charge of the southern border, so she doesn't go do anything. I think people have this sense that, that somehow she was picked as a mistake. Uh, and and I, I do. it's fascinating to me, by the way, more people now are opposed to Biden running in in uh, 2024 than are opposed to Trump running. And I suspect in a head-on race now that Trump would beat Biden. Uh, and that's really a remarkable change in eight or nine months and tells you how much uh, political capital that Biden has used up. But it's not just Biden. Uh, it's Schumer. Uh, it, it's Pelosi. You know, Schumer endorsed the socialist candidate mm -hmm. in Buffalo, New York, for mayor who lost. Uh, the three big election reform things designed to make it easier to steal an election were all repudiated by New York voters mm -hmm. by 63 percent. All Each one got 63 percent no. Schumer continues to push for it against his own state. Uh, and, and you look at the results last week, they weren't just Virginia and New Jersey. <clears throat> Go look at Seattle, where a Republican won the county attorney's race. Uh, if you told me we begin to pick up seats in Seattle, I'd have thought it was very, very unlikely. <laughs> Look right. at San Antonio, where in a 73 percent Latino district, the Republican won. The truth is, big government socialism doesn't work. Mm -hmm. It is very unpopular. Only about one sixth of the country favors it, and the Democrats are stuck with it. Yeah, and Republicans said they were the party of parents. That was a winning message, at least in Virginia. Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker, for coming on. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.